Your eyes and hands are involved with the process of writing. Your ears and mouth are responsible for your speech production. However, when a child has been taught in the way that these skills, writing and speaking, are combined in his mind, he becomes confused. And as a result, his attention becomes split off. This child does not understand the difference between writing and speaking because they appear the same for him. Here is an example. We write the word, for example, Tina, with a sequence of the following four letters, T-I-N-A. However, we do not say T-I-N-A. Instead, we sound out just the required sounds, t -a -m -a. Also, there is a so-called softening influence of the vowel E in the on the first sound T in this word. We produced T instead of T like in Tom. In order to produce this word correctly, our speech apparatus should move into the specifically required position. Nobody explains this to a young child. Most of the time, he is simply presented with the names of the letters and then left on his own to figure all these things out. As a result, the child begins to experience lack of understanding, panicking, hesitations, and finally he turns into a stutterer. What makes the stuttering even worse is several psycho programs that young children are being loaded with in school. One of them is a reading under time pressure, a speedy reading fluency program which is impossible even for adults. If you ask an adult person to read a story about, let's say, Indian apple heroes with very, very long names, this person will slow down, switch to syllable by syllable reading, and still may not be able to sound out these unfamiliar words correctly from the first attempt. So naturally, uh, each word is new for young children that learn uh, how to read, as they are foreigners and they have to become familiar with every word first at their own pace. That's why the demand of a speedy fluent reading is ridiculous. However, the students are forced to participate in these absurd competitions and their ability to read fast is being graded at school. Children are not given the opportunity to focus as they are being pushed by their teachers, parents, and even classmates. Read faster, faster, and faster. Instead of focusing on the process of reading, at the moment the child concentrates on a pusher's voice, and as a result his attention splits off and becomes distracted from a reading task. Here is another example. If you are hammering a nail, let's assume that that's a very simple task for you. And at the same moment, someone begins to criticize you or tell you how to do it better. What the chance of you missing that nail and hitting your finger may be? It will increase dramatically, will it not? So, so is the child that is placed under such pressure and conditioned to speed up instead of focusing on the quality transfer of written information. Poor kid begins to hesitate and split off his attention. This makes it even more difficult for him to learn how to discriminate between and then co-join in his mind two separate properties an auditory channel of speech and a visual channel of writing. That's how the child acquires several ways of reading of the same text, which causes a stupor and a disruption of his attention. Nobody takes this in consideration at school or at home. Moreover, when the child stumbles on certain words, his teachers and parents recommend to avoid use of this word and substitute it with a synonym instead. This is another psycho program teaching that a word could be substituted in speech. We all know that each word is a code created to express a unit of uh, very precise information which cannot be changed. If we change only one symbol in the word, 
its meaning may become totally opposite. Sadly, the child is specifically being taught to avoid difficult words and substitute them for the easy ones. The child quickly learns that there are difficult and simple words and that he should avoid difficult ones. So instead of learning how to produce these new words, the child acquires a bad habit of constantly substituting words in his speech. This makes him uh, really insane because he's running away from words instead of learning how to say them correctly. This appears as an onset of a psychiatric disorder. This bad habit prohibits him from normal ac acquisition of new vocabulary and from normal ability to speak without the word knowledge. Next, this child is brought to a speech and language therapist who begins to train, for example, his breathing, although people in their daily life never think how they breathe. So as soon as the child focuses on the process of breathing, he cannot concentrate on the information that he's supposed to sound out, what to say. Because he, because we have only one attention and it should not be split off. Normal speech production becomes even more difficult for this child now, as this additional grotesque breathing movement has been added and the child is expected to cons consciously focus on it. This poor kid becomes a professional stutterer. They claim him ill as he has already several psycho programs loaded in his head. They begin pushing prescription drugs. Instead of teaching him how to produce words correctly and forming his speech skills, they cure him from a known disease called stuttering. This appears as ridiculous as if they were curing a human from, for example, lack of ability to play piano or inability to speak a foreign language. This is insane, and this mass insanity has been spread all over the world these days. Such medical influence dramatically alters children's mentality, and they become totally crazy. No matter how many pills they take, they will never learn how to produce correctly sounds and words.